Hello guys, I'm Saber and it's my home. I'm in the kitchen. I started the project, big project to make all the home smart and I wanna share step by step with you. For the beginning, in the kitchen I have two lamp, as you see. Uh, I wanna make them smart and controlled it by Amazon Alexa. Uh, for the beginning it's enough and there are four or five ways to do it and I wanna try them all from the easiest one to hardest one so if you be with me you will learn them all so first project is make the kitchen light smart and I wanna use the easiest one that I will explain to you. For a start, I will uh, use uh, ESP32. As you see, we have um, different ESP32, and we will not go to details what's the different. Uh, just we wanna make the first project. For first project, I wanna control my kitchen by Alexa. How we should do it? Maybe you think it's that much easy, just Alexa. No, it's not that much easy. How Alexa can control your device? First option is when you ask Alexa to find my device, Alexa, like a human search in the network, where is the device? And should know that device. I mean, go to network to all IPs and try to uh, ask them one by one do I know you do I know you do I know you and if just someone answered yes you know me I know you I'm for example Philip Su then Alexa understand oh I found the device and I can control it and with some standard pr protocol Alexa start to talk with that device Okay, I found you, we know each other, we can, I can uh, send a request to you, I can uh, change the color, for example, if the device name is uh, A, device A, um, the owner send a request to change the brightness to 50, something like that, or also device can uh, reply to Alexa, okay, I, I changed it, I didn't change it, I have some problem or something like that. I wanna make kitchen smart and controlled by Alexa, but my ESP32 is not Philips Hue or another device that uh, Alexa or Amazon know it. We have some option. First of all, that we are uh, we are gonna use it is a kind of emulator someone we can say they hacked it they didn't hack it but they emulate Philips Hue so if I install uh, those kind of library in my ESP32 when Alexa asks this ESP32 do I know you this ESP32 will answer yes you know me, I know you, I am Philips Hu, but it's not Philips Hu. You should understand it's just for uh, personal use and you cannot make a device with it and you cannot sell it because uh, it's not Philips Hu. Another option that we will do it later is for example you use a skills, you write a skill. Uh, for the beginning, we will do it, and we will use Fox more library that emulate Philips Hue, and later we will go more professional, and uh, we will see what will happen. Let's get it started. Um, before anything, we need one IDE, and I'm using Arduino IDE. 
uh, that later we will change it to Virtual Studio or uh, Eclipse, but uh, for now uh, Arduino IDE is uh, the easiest one. Uh, after you install Arduino, you can find many videos in YouTube about uh, how to install Arduino if or uh, you have any question. Just don't forget in preferences in additional board manager URLs. You have to add and these two URLs that I mentioned in description and you have to install Fagusma library uh, for that one we go to tools, manage libraries and after you wait a little uh, we're in search box we write folks oh, and we have to install it that already I installed we close it we go to the file in the example find function ESP function ESP basic It's one of the example uh, that I don't wanna change it here. I wanna uh, use in a new schedule. So just I copy paste all here. Okay, as you see, uh, you can use both ESP32 or ESP8266. Uh, there is a if here that change uh, which chip you are using and for example they added five devices that just I know one device and because I'm kind of lazy I don't change this uh, LED yellow name but here I change a smart Saber lamp in the function Wi Fi setup start to uh, connect to Wi Fi uh, for uh, beginners. Just a little explain um, for ESP32, there are two main sections one of them is setup, and one of them is loop. Uh, before uh, your uh, ESP32 load this setup function call and everything here you write line by line uh, run and after setup finished uh, we can say your ESP32 is stuck in loop function and in loop just uh, run line by line and again go to uh, this loop function um, imagine for example if your uh, microcontroller if your ESP32 if your CPU is 8 megahertz uh, so this loop and if you have nothing here this loop uh, call uh, 8 million times per second is something like that or just if you add anything is of course this take time uh, so it's little explanation we have Wi-Fi setup uh, that we need to enter our um, SSID and our password for this example they used credential.h uh, I add here you can add one tap here oops just so you know we add here we can go to example to see exactly what they need yes is here my SSID is S A access point and my password is 
please don't share my password uh, with everyone with anyone okay it's finished right now this can connect here in setup mode this serial is for uh, we check what's happening and for pin out uh, just we need make one of the pin as the output and one of the pin we make default value and also here we don't need to add these four devices and also here uh, in this callback in on a state in unset state uh, as you see when any command come from Alexa uh, this function call and here uh, is comparing the device name with uh, that device already we uh, defined uh, but we have just one device so we don't need this ones actually already we don't need this one too but it's okay for us we can say everything is kind of uh, ready Okay, right now we are ready for compile and upload our sketch. Uh, it's my Node MCU 32S, uh, and Node MCU 32S is pinout is like this. Maybe yours is different. We go to our IDE in Tools. We select our board, ESP32, and port we will use this port and we push the upload button this compiling a sketch and uploading if you see right now it's right in connecting if you have any problem with connecting you can press uh, the enable button uh, will connect easier and our uploading finished right now i can ask uh, alexa discover device starting discovery this will take a few moments power on your devices now and if needed put them in pairing mode okay you have to uh, check the pinout we used number four as you remember here for our output and number four is here uh, this pin one two three four five six seven this pin and also i have to connect the ground i found smart saber lamp and you can control it by saying Turn off Smart Saber Lamp. To rename it, tap the name on the screen. Okay, as you see, it's worked. It's found our device. Alexa, turn on a Smart Saber Lamp. Yes, guys! Worked! It's on! Yes! Congrats to everyone! By the way, I'm still learning about Smart Saber Lamp. Is it in the bedroom? No kitchen. Okay. So if I ask, for example, Alexa, turn off kitchen. Kitchen doesn't support that. Yes. Yes, guys. It's Alexa problem. Alexa, turn off a smart saber lamp. Uh, it's working and in just last step we will go to really control the lamp kitchen lamp uh, be ready for 
next step. Alexa, turn on kitchen. Okay. Alexa, turn off kitchen. Okay. It's working, guys. Uh, as we wanted. Okay, guys, a smart kitchen finished. And it's working. I can ask Alexa to turn it on or turn it off. But there are some problems. For example, Alexa right now just can discover our device locally. I mean, when they are in same network, just Alexa can find our device. It's one of the problem. Or if I wanna change the program, and if I wanna change the SSID and password, I have to take the and MCU and I have to upload it again and put it again. Or for example, Node MCU is kind of expensive. I don't wanna use Node MCU. I wanna use uh, ESP32 for all of the hosts. Another problem is we use for LAMP, but for I cannot use it for rest of the home because uh, for many devices we cannot find the emulator that Alexa understand. Okay. Uh, we found some library can emulate Flipsu, but for rest of the home maybe we cannot find emulator so we have to find a more stable uh, way for in next videos um, I will improve this project one by one and I will solve this problem one by one uh, justice so See you in next video.